Hey guys, welcome to today's, this is a middle of the day live stream where we will be doing some nether fortress clearing, playing around with some lava, well getting rid of some lava and I'll be answering some fans questions. There is an air conditioner going in the background right now because it is the middle of the day and it's very hot here in Australia so I have the air conditioner going so I do apologize if you hear a slight hum going on in the background, there's really nothing I can do about it. That's why normally I do live streams during the... Um, during the night, or uh, or during early, early, early in the morning, crack of dawn times, because it's nice and cool. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so I've got both chat windows up, um, which is my site chat and Twitch chat, so I can see all what's going on. Um, yeah, I heard it's really cold over in America right now, so <laughs> no, you can keep the cold. I'll I'll, I'll stay with the heat. Um, Alright, so, let's go ahead and get started, actually. Should make sure we got, uh, yeah, I've got all the supplies I need. Uh, get my sword out. Last time I checked, there was a couple of nasties around here somewhere. Okay, so I should explain a little bit what I'll be doing today. Oh, crikey. Crikey! Oh no, Dana's using a bow! This is different! Okay, so I should explain what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be clearing some of this fortress off today. Uh, we're not going to be doing any mining. Um, I really need to do some mining, but we're going to be doing a little bit of clearing instead of mining today. Um, so, I've been, I've been working really hard to shoot the Datathon, which is pretty much an episode a day for two weeks. So I'm currently, right now, getting ahead quite a bit. And um, in an upcoming episode, next week you guys will you'll watch it, I, we, I pretty much show off a, a new fortress that I've discovered. And this is the fortress I've discovered. And I told everybody that I was going to start clearing it out in live streams, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start clearing it out. And why are we clearing it out? Because hopefully I plan on turning it into a uh, wither farm some point in the future. There is a lot of these T sections in it, but there is going to be a metric butt ton of work. There, it is half over a lava lake, which is good, because we've got a T-section there, and we've got a, another cross-section, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a T-section, it's a cross. Cross-sections are here and here. This is the ones I really want to use on the, the, the skelly farm, that I when I do build it, right here. And that one over there, and I want to sort of make the, the platform. Yeah, this is, this is a long-term project. We have to be very dedicated, because I plan on getting rid of... All this has got to come out. All this, the rest of the fortress has to come out. It's just, it's going to be a lot of work. It's probably going to be, you know, months and months and months and months in the shooting. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it's in an upcoming episode in the Datathon because I've actually shot most of the, oh, crikey, I've shot most of the Datathon already for next week because the Datathon does start actually next week, which is fantastic. Uh, end of the week it starts. Uh, Friday onwards for two weeks straight should be an episode a day, which is going to be fantastic. And then you guys will catch up to where I am, because I'll dump all the episodes in the two weeks, and we'll all be caught up. And uh, yeah, you'll notice that that this um, this episode will come up, hopefully, oh, I think it's the late 40s. So... Yeah, alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to go ahead and remove the lava over here. We've got some weird glitches going on. Now, what do I mean about weird glitches? Come check out this lava once we get rid of all these guys. This is exactly why I brought a bow today, because I, I knew that we're going to be playing around down here. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, these weird glitches. Check it out. Whoa, crocky. Oh, I'm just worried about something nasty. I hate being around lava and mobs being around. Holy smokes, but check it out. Yeah, weird glitches with the lava. We've got to get rid of all this here. Um, so hopefully we can track down the source, um, which goes up. Because we've got to clear... All this has got to come out. This whole pillar. Um, yeah, we've got to, we'll probably make a boundary eventually, eventually where we're going to clear everything down to. So what we'll do is just update these blocks here. Because this fortress is... Not that brand new, but pretty new in the, in the series-wise. As I said, I've discovered this in an upcoming episode to do with the Datathon. And how are we going to get out there? Because I don't have enough blocks on me. What we'll do is we'll mine out some of these guys. And we'll use them just in case a gas comes along. And, yeah, so we don't get we don't get annihilated. That would be completely bad. So, we actually have to clear most of the fortress. We're going to keep two to three T-sections, or... X sections, cross sections 
of this um, this fortress for the Wither Skeleton Farm when we do start construction of it. But yeah, all this has got to come out. Where are you shooting from, Crikey? Am I going to get shot when I get up in the air? That would be a complete disaster. Where are you? I can hear him. I can't see him. Maybe he's underneath us. Oh, it's a little bit dangerous to be looking over the edge right now. Okay, so... What we'll do is just watch our backs because I don't want to die. I have my looting three sword on me right now just in case we get any wither skeletons. Guarantee this is probably... All this lava is probably from one source. Whoa, crikey. It looks like I might run out of scaffolding to scaffold up. I know people will be like, Oh, you're not using netherrack! We can just take netherrack right out of the wall. Okay, be careful. Because now we're getting up high. This is where you start farming your glowstone. Alright, let's just carve through here. And it looks like it is going to be a single source by the looks of things. Just this massive waterfall. This not waterfall, lava fall. Whoa, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Nope. Ooh, crikey. Got to be real careful. In the nether, lava actually moves quicker. In the nether, like the, the actual stream moves quicker. The animation doesn't move quicker, but just the stream moves quicker. So we got to be real careful, because once that starts flowing down, we could have all sorts of problems. I don't want no fried data. I bloomin' hate it. All right, up we go. Okay. Oh, crikey. Yeah, see one single source up there. I thought it was right here, but... Oh, crikey, just be careful. Okay, so that's blocked that off. That's going to get rid of all the metric butt-ton of lava that's all the way down there. So, it's going to be good, but I'm going to get rid of it completely, because if I start digging any of the ceiling out, then we're going to have lava just pouring out the Yu-Yang, which compl could, could be completely bad. And no, no Kentucky Fried Data. I see the live stream chat right now. Everyone's like, mmm, no. <laughs> Crikey. Check if there's any glowstone up here, neither I don't have any efficiency picks. Because um, I, I really need the glowstone in the main series. That's why I come over here. Because um, over there, there was a big patch of glowstone. And I don't know if you guys can see it from here. But, no you can't. But there's a big bridge. I was farming out the roof glowstone along a bigger lava, lava lake. That one down there, to be exact. And I come across this fortress. And I'm like, yes, in the next episode, I'm so telling everybody I found this fortress. And I did. And that was the datathon, as I said. You guys will see that in an upcoming episodes, don't worry. I am quite a little bit ahead, so I can't show too many spoilers right now. But once that datathon starts to drop uh, end of next week, Bob's your uncle, you guys will be all caught up, because an episode every single day, holy smokes, hopefully you guys can keep up. Hopefully you guys can keep up. Alright, let's go ahead and get down from here, and I guess we can start farming out some of this right here if we don't get shot. Um, I think, where do we want to start? See, there's just so much to do. All what we're standing on has to come out at the end of the day. All of it. Every, every single bit has to actually come out. Because, now we've got a really good view here. We want that section, that section. There is a dual blaze spawner. Holy smokes. Ooh, this is not a good idea. Crikey. Alright, that's it. I'm coming for you. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, she despawned. She despawned. Crikey. Okay, so there is a jewel blaze spawner probably 30 blocks apart. I was going to use it, but it's... No. All this part of the fortress will come out, and we will recycle it in projects later on. But we really want this, t this X section here, because if I design and build a farm in these two sections, um, I want, like, the, the pads... Well, the where you AFK somewhere in sort of over the lava lake here. It's probably the best idea to there. So we really need to carve all this out because we don't want any land, anything. Because as I said, this farm, you're going to have to be dedicated. This is just going to be no small task. We've got a lot of digging. I want to start low. I don't want to start high. So we're just going to... Oh, crikey. We're going to try dig down. I should have just took the same route going down. So let's just do it. Ouch. Okay, I got feather falling boots, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so if we see any wither skeletons, we kill them. Near the no oh, I can't tell you guys that that's a spoiler. Crocky. That's all good. We'll add more to the collection here. Did I just I did <laughs> just got an Ow! Crocky, get off me! Holy smokes. 
Okay, so I just got another weather skeleton skull. I think I'm going to drop that off, and uh, we'll we'll get these guys first. No, my luck. I'm not really looking for another beacon. And no, my luck. Of these guys are just going to drop it like like it's bones. All right, take care of all these guys. Oh, I thought I just fell down a giant hole there. Oh, all right, okay. Let's go drop this off, and then we'll start. We'll just start clearing the top off all this. I think that's what we'll do. We're going to break these two spawners. I did say in the episode we're going to probably build something in these two spawners, but no, I've changed my mind. We are definitely not building anything. See spawner there and spawner there. They're close enough to have a a dual blaze spawner. So, oh crikey. Okay, so what we'll do. We'll throw this guy in here, and any coal, we will just throw junk like all this in here itself. I haven't started what's up. I've got all these spare chests because I know I'm going to be keeping this nether brick. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. So we'll start in this section first. We'll just start in this section and work our way. So we'll destroy this guy here. Don't need it. Grab the XP. Do not touch the pigmen. <sighs> There's no ladders to be grabbing on this time, Data. Where did the other one go? Oh, crikey, I'm too far away. Nothing down that way. Okay, so there is no... No ladders to be grabbing hold of this time around. <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay, so we'll get rid of this so we can get up here. Alright. Gotcha. Nope. Okay, there. We took care of the dual blaze bonus. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I know, because... Oh, are you kidding? Do I have enough to pillar up that high? That's going to be a problem later on. That's okay. Let's just let's just start going. I'll start answering some fans' questions in a sec. Whoa! Oh, 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 no, no, no! No, no, Frank Data! Ouch, 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 ouch! Crikey! Holy smokes! Ow, 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 ow! I'm on f blimmin' fire! Blimmin' la lava is just so blimmin' dangerous! Crikey! Oh, no. Please don't die. Oh, phew! Oh, crikey. Dangerous. Alright. <laughs> Everybody's screaming in chat now. They're like, Yay, fried data! No fried data! Holy smokes, that was... They're all hashtagging that. That's not good. Holy smokes, that was definitely not cool. Let's uh, block this up. Ha! I win! Ha! I didn't burn to death. <laughs> Crikey. Okay, alright, alright. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, I, so, I really shouldn't be using my... Efficiency 5 pick for this, but we're just going to take the top off everything. We're going to take that out. We're going to take it all out. Um, we'll be taking all this nether brick out eventually. As I said, I only want the two sections. Um, oh, crikey. Everything tries to blum and kill you in this stinking place. And I wonder why people always ask, why do you build anything in the nether anymore? Because it's blum and dangerous. Holy smokes. It's just... It's just... Yeah, dangerous. <laughs> oh, crikey. I know, I know this is... I'm probably going to die many times on this project. Uh, if I die, it's going to spawn me back into the main base, so I've got to change... I've got to remember to black out the screens, because I don't want to show you what's upcoming in the Datathon. Trust me, there's a lot of things that we do in the Datathon upcoming, and I'm tired in some of the episodes, but... Hey, there's really nothing you can do when I was shooting crazy amounts of hours and doing so much prep work. Alright, okay, so maybe I should answer some questions from chat now that we've actually started doing some work and not getting fried by lava or getting shot by stuff. Okay, so guys, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and post them in chat. I will be reading chat, um, multitasking now. Instead of, instead of mining, I'll be multitasking. Uh, did they fix the beacon glitch yet? Yes, apparently in the, the latest snapshot they totally fixed the beacon glitch. But unfortunately, uh, I'd have no clue when uh, uh, 8.1, uh, 8 8.2, I, I have no blooming clue. Um, they decide to drop. No, my luck. By the time I get this on YouTube, maybe it's dropped. Who knows? I don't blooming know. Uh, yes, King Willie. Data needs a coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Venomous. Um, I thought it was. No, the beacon glitch is not fixed at this time, which is unfortunate. Um, okay. What episode are I? I'm not going to spoil that. I'm not going to spoil it. Just, just say most of the datathon is shot and ready to go next, starting next week. So, 
just I, I hope you guys can keep up. I really do. An episode you do realize is going to be after next weekend. There's going to be an episode every single day for two straight weeks. That's right, two straight weeks. Um, just an episode. That is a lot of hours right there of just content. And it was a metric butt ton of shooting for me and doing prep work and digging out mountains and oh, I better shut up now before I spoil things. Yeah, it was a lot. Seriously? Let's get this guy before he whacks me off. No, no, ow. Serious, skelly. Oh, my fire. No, 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 no. Eat, 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 eat. This is where we need some, uh, uh, some lava resistance and fire resistance and all that good stuff. Oh, I see some wither skeletons down here. We're gonna, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can't uh, get get us get another skull this this stream. I think that would be fantastic. But we'll just, as I said, we're taking the top off all this. Oh nuts! I'll grab that. Where where's where is it? Where is it? I don't know. Okay, so. How many hours of shooting? How many days of shooting? That, sh that question should be. A lot of hours of shooting, like of prep work. Doing prep work for the episode. Oh, I shouldn't dig this part out, shouldn't I? That is where I've got my chest located at. So we're going to have to leave that alone for now until we start moving some of the resources. Oh, crikey, this is so nerve wracking. Because we fall off, it's game over, man. It is game over. <laughs> it is definitely game over. Alright, that's it. Where are you? You're going, you're going down. You're just, yeah. Shooting through the walls is not on. Alright, you're going down too. Yeah, so many, many hours of uh, shooting went into the datathon, but uh, just remember, next month I think there's like eight days with no episodes. That's how, how many episodes there are for next month. I really wanted a big Christmas, you know, something big for Christmas for you guys, so I worked my absolutely... Crikey, get out of the way, pig. Worked my absolute backside off to get all these episodes ready um, for the Datathon, and then obviously got to start work on the episodes after the Datathon, and then I'll be taking a break, so I will have a, a vacation after Christmas, but I'm going to provide content all the way up past Christmas. Yeah, it's going to be insane, guys, insane. I didn't touch you. It wasn't me. I heard that. Crikey. Okay, so, any questions? Yes, cool. Um, did you know Spigot will be 1.8 soon? Yeah, soon. Don't get your hopes up. I'm hearing probably after Christmas, months away. There's lots of testing going involved right now, so... Until I actually see a version in front of me that I can use... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I've been reading all the blog posts, so don't worry. Don't just... A lot of people think that I'm out of the loop. Come on, this is sort of like my job. I have to make sure I'm up to date in the Minecraft news and all the snapshots and and what's going on in the server world because you know I do have a bunch. I do have my own servers. Um, if you wish to play on any of my survival servers, at 1.710 at the moment, but still pretty cool. I plan on doing a Christmas live stream from my server, showing off the fans' builds. So that's going to be interesting. If you're interested in uh, building something nice on the survival server, well. I'll uh, leave a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, and I'll get a uh, one of the mods to to post a how to apply to the uh, to to get on the server. Because unfortunately, it's whitelisted because there's so many nasties on the internet, and yeah, we have you have to keep them you have to keep it whitelisted, which is unfortunate. We should just, uh, be pulling our hair out if we weren't. We would definitely be pulling the hair out. But um, yeah, d definitely if you're interested in uh, being part of that. Uh, that Christmas uh, special there that I plan on doing. Hopefully I can. I did promise everyone I did, but I shouldn't have promised everyone that, that I could because I do, I've, I've got to realize I'll be streaming from a server. My internet already sucks bad. You guys already know that. My internet absolutely sucks. And, you know, all those players running around, me teleporting around to players' build, showing it off, and... Oh, crikey. It's just going to be... Uh, it's either going to be a success or it's going to be a mess, so... Please, guys, don't shoot me if uh, if I can't get it done, but I'm going to try. It, yeah, I'm gonna, definitely going to try. So, I've streamed from the server before. Data Games is all streamed from the server, and it seemed to stream fine. Low quality, 360p, but it streamed, it sort of streamed just fine, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, link will be in the description. That will send you over to uh, apply for the server, so you can uh, jump on and play with the... Uh, 
some of the other fans. We've got a really nice community over there. Fantastic community. Um, the, if maybe normal survival survival's not your thing, I do have an amplified survival as well. And holy smokes! So, if, you know, if you want to build an amplified, you can. Um, best thing about the amp server, it sort of takes a little bit of stress off your computer. Maybe you have a bad computer, you could never run amp before. Um, well, you know, some people have reported that they definitely get a improvement because the server does most of the the, the work on uh, when it comes to generating the terrain and all that good stuff. So, um, somebody's saying uh, DNR season three. That is still an unknown at this time. Unfortunately, it is definitely still an unknown when it comes to DNR three. There'll be an official announcement after Christmas sometime. If it's going to be a yes or no. I'm getting prepared just in case it is a yes. But um, I really haven't sat down and had serious discussions with uh, Mr. Red there. So. <laughs> and plus Amplified. Oh, that's going to be the most difficult terrain to survive in. I did an Amplified series for a little while. Before it got too much. Like, just too much work. Plus the map was sort of corrupt with the whole me starting at a sn eight, uh, snapshot with the new terrain gen oh that was a disaster i shouldn't have done that in the first place holy smokes all right let's take out this blaze here here we go we can take out his friends as well we'll use the looting three sword to take out the wither itself uh, the wither skeleton so just in case he drops the skull nah bugger um we could take out this guy here i think we'll take out this guy here next we're just going to flatten off the structure and then we'll start getting rid of the a pillar at a time. A pillar at a time. Okay, let me check chat. Um, Alright, there, there is no, there's no decent questions in there at this time. So, I think we'll just have to go to a question from YouTube. I do have questions from YouTube. If you're watching this from YouTube later on, feel free to post a question below. And if it hasn't already been answered a million times before, I will answer it in the next live stream. Because, you know, some people cannot be here. Maybe it's too late for them, or they're working, or they got school, or any of that good stuff. So I do try to even interact with the fans on YouTube there. So I'll hang on a second. Once we take out this, I'll uh, bring out the text document of Doom, which is just a lot of stuff copied over from YouTube. And we'll, get, we'll sort through it and see what, see if we have any decent questions we can uh, answer. Oh, crikey. Being up this high is not a good idea when messing around with blazers. That is good. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I see the world seed is out. Of, yeah, the world seed is out. If you really want, uh, if you want the world seed, it's in the description of every, prim, or not, not the earlier ones. Most, most of the descriptions of MDU. So if you do really want to start a new world in in the same seed I'm using, sure, go for it. It is in the description of the. It'll be the description of this video, well, this live stream as well, when I post it on YouTube, and it will also be in the description of any MDU episode so which is good oh also guys we are actually going to start streaming crikey holy smokes oh that's not good we are actually going to start streaming where are you we're going to start streaming from the new mine shaft hopefully next week so stay tuned for that um where did you go i want to shoot you so badly fine be like that Crikey. Right behind me, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Ha-ha! Dead. I'm going to run out of arrows before anything. Yeah, i got 60 left. I don't have an, uh, an infant bow on me, so... Which is which does kind of suck. It does definitely kind of suck. Um, get rid of that guy. We'll have to take one of these out one at a time. Uh, just hopped on and live stream was on. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Alright, that's right, I was meant to be taking out this tech, hang on, just let me put myself in the corner here so I don't get shot off. I'll get this text document of Doom in the second screen here, so I can easily uh, read some of these questions. Okay, there we go. Alright, got the text document of Doom up. Um, uh, I've set up a farm far away to make the storage connect to your base with an ender chest. I don't think you can 
connect a base with an ender chest. Uh, I don't normally use ender chests, and I know people always like, Daddy, use a blooming ender chest. What the blooming crocky is wrong with you? And, oh, you know, yeah, some of the fans are like that. I know I don't use an ender chest, but I'm pretty sure you can't use a hopper on an ender chest. <laughs> oh, crikey. Um, so the next question from YouTube is, do you catch yourself talking off camera like you do while you're recording? Okay, I sort of get that, I sort of get that. Do I, t pretty much the guy's asking, do I talk to myself like I talk on camera? Yes, I do, all the bloomin' time. Usually when I'm in the shower and I'm come up with something good for the next episode and, uh, I, yeah, people catch me talking to myself all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not crazy, I swear I'm not crazy. Too much Minecraft, too much YouTube. <laughs> oh, crikey. Alright, let me switch over to this other screen here, make sure I'm not miss missing any, um, I'm not missing any questions from Twitch or site chat, you know, any of that good stuff. Any of that good stuff. Um, why don't you... I can't even read that word with other YouTubers. Um, well, I don't usually have got contact with other YouTubers. I don't normally watch other YouTubers. I do watch some of Doc's stuff, like Doc watches some of my stuff. and Yeah, but we don't really, you know, say, Hey, we're going to go do this together. No, we don't normally do that. <laughs> so, no. Um, I do not... Yeah, I, I don't have any plans to uh, do anything with other YouTubers. I think if another YouTuber reached out, I might, you know, do something with them. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. That'll be future stuff. Looks like we're, we're doing pretty good. I think we'll take out that section next. We can't take out the section with the chest, unfortunately. But we'll get all this flattened out, and then we can start concentrating on carving that out. We got rid of the giant lava waterfall, the waterfall, the lava full there, and... And, uh, which is, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, so, alright. Okay, we'll just go to the next section now. Everything's coming to flatten out nicely, because these giant pillars of doom right here, we've got to take them out as well. So, how am I doing? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm not full yet, so that's fantastic. Look, it's Magma Bob! I see Magma Bob! Oh, no, no, and no. Oh, crikey. Oh, I'm, I'm just worried about falling off the bloomin' edge. Dead. Alright. Let's go take care of this Wither Skelly. Come on, Wither Skelly. Seriously? I'm over here. Just make sure he doesn't drop any skulls. Take care of this uh, Magma Bob here. Uh-oh. Little bobs everywhere. Oh, crikey. I've always wanted to take one of these little guys home. I think they look adorable. Don't you? They look absolutely adorable. Alright, gotta kill them. There we go. Okay, so... We have enough to get up there and stop that lava flow. I'm just a little worried on how that's gonna go, if you know what I mean. Because I, I want to start getting rid of this whole section. I think we'll start doing that right now. Get rid of the, the in, this whole section. And then we're gonna pillar up and hopefully, if things go well... We are not going to get shot off or anything, which is will be a complete, complete, ba completely bad. Okay, all right. So I should. Um, okay, so somebody's asked, where did did you get the Minecraft stickers on my wall? Okay, so he must be watching my vlogs. Yay! People watch my vlogs. Um, the, my, the stickers on the, the wall, I will go track them down for you and leave a link in the description on YouTube later on. I don't have the link and unfortunately I don't think none of my staff members have that link um, at this time. But I'll, uh, it's kind of expensive. I think it's $60. So yeah, it is not cheap to get those stickers on the wall. Um, yeah. <laughs> I tried to make it more... Uh, more Minecrafty feel because I had like gaming posters up there before and the wall behind me. But I thought, you know, now that since I'm doing, I'm mostly a Minecraft YouTuber. I thought, you know, why, why not invest into getting it sort of Minecraft themed? So when I did my vlogs, you know, people know what's going on and all that good stuff. Um, okay, okay. So what we'll do? Oh, crikey, this is not good. I'm going to look behind me, make sure there's nothing going to shoot at me, and then I'm going to lean off and grab these fences up here. Oh, it looks like I'm pillaring up. I don't like this. Oh, 
crikey, this is gonna just, nope. Go, 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 go. Got it. All right, down we come. Now, for the worst part, the worst, 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 worst part, we've got to get all the way up there without dying. <sighs> I guess I'm just going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to do it. This is, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Um, okay, so somebody saw, um, Venomous has asked, uh, data question, why do you want to remove the whole fortress? Does it make, uh, make a difference to the farm? Could you just half slab? I could half slab, it's like a witch farm, okay? Doing this farm is going to be like a witch farm. You could take an alternate route, like half slabbing, or you are gonna can go a little bit more extreme and dig everything out. Now I'm going to the little bit more extreme and digging it all out, and the only things left is going to be these these X sections here, which we will do an episode later or later later. Oh, this is not good. Oh, crikey! No, no, no! Down, down, down! Go down! This not good. Go, go, go! Yeah. No. No. Yes. Oh, I thought he was going to get me then. Holy smokes! That that would have been. Completely blooming horrible. Oh, crocky. Ha! No Kentucky Fried Data. No Kentucky Fried Data. <sighs> Alright. Oh, quick, quick. Just, let's just get this thing and get the blooming hell off of this thing. Because I... No. <laughs> this is dangerous. I knew it would be dangerous. This is just crazy. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, no, it's pretty much... The farm that I've got in my head is is a little bit of extreme. It's yeah. Eventually, this is all going to be gone. There's going to be nothing left. Okay, now that's catching up. Oh crikey! Go. Is it going to go away? No, it's not going to go away. All right, there it goes. He just had to update. So um, yeah, eventually all this is going to be gone. This is going to be blank. It's going to. We're probably the only thing we're going to half slab is the bottom. Because eventually I hope to build a cube around it and it's going to look pretty cool. So, but as I said, you have to be committed to build one of these these wither skelly farms that I do plan on building. And it probably is not going to be for six months or so before we actually complete digging all this out. So that's just a heads up there. Um, it is definitely going to take a long time to do. Here we go. Take care of that. All right. And I think we're just about... Whoa! Okay, let's take care of him. Alright, that's too far away. That's too far away. Fantastic. Uh, what kind of farm is going to be? It's going to be a wither skeleton farm. Somebody asks in chat. Uh, welcome to the stream. Obviously, you're new. And I'll take this guy out. Oh, crikey. That's the worst thing about not having any sides on this blooming thing is... The feeling of, gotcha, the feeling of having it, yeah, uh, falling off the edges is just completely horrible. There we go, we've cleared most of it off already. Go over here, get rid of you, and oh, there's a chest down there, but we won't worry about it, we won't worry about it. Okay, so, I think we'll, now that we've flattened it off, we will uh, get rid of that. Okay, so now that we've flattened it off, we're going to go head over to that section over there and definitely start clearing. I think we're going to unload our inventory first is probably a good idea. And then we'll go start clearing off the the section over there. We'll just plomp anything and every, anything. Any, I'm, going to, I'm going to be taking all this home. Um, don't get me wrong. We're going to be reusing the nether brick and all that good stuff in other farms and structures and finishing off the base later on. We'll take a spare pick with us. This one is almost kaput, so we'll take that one with us. Next time I do a stream, remind me to get myself a Watsy bow, so I don't have to bring that stacks and stacks and stacks of arrows um, with me, with me, with me. Um, gosh, we can't take that way, because that's just things so that we'll have to go over this little baby cross section here and I'll, I'll read some questions off of uh, Twitch and uh, site chat in a sec. I know a bunch of people are posting questions. Just uh, give me a sec guys. Okay, so what we'll do, hang on a second. Um, Alright. Uh, when will when will you let people download my world? Uh, probably on Christmas time, mate. Christmas time. Whoa! 
Christmas time. That's when I plan to have a world download link around Christmas time. Uh, what? I'm not going to put a specific date, but we'll say the 20th plus. There we go. Okay. So sometime around there, we'll, I'll have the world download ready for you, for everybody to uh, play around on. You, got, you guys got the seed. Uh, it's funny. Episode one, they asked for a world download. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing done to the world, and they always already want a world download. The base is not complete, and you already want a download. It's it's crazy. It is definitely crazy. You guys will get the de world download, just not quite yet. All right, we'll take this care of this guy out. There we go, got him. Fantastic. And then we have done this section. We I need to leave these T sections here alone. These are the sections I won't completely dig out until we start on the farm later on okay so we leave these guys alone but what we have to dig out is all this this is where the giant lava waterfall was all this has to come out um i want to look at the blaze farm oh okay didn't it's they're quite easy to build um I mean, why don't you go put, put one together on your own world? Uh, those blaze farms are just so resource friendly and easy to do. Well, I wouldn't say easy when you have to deal with the mobs, but uh, yeah, easy when it comes to the resources involved on building it. Quite, 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 yeah. There we go. Um, uh, Data, where is Mr. Red's dragon? He's on holiday. That's where he is. Why do you keep asking about him? I do not know. <laughs> okay. Um, how long did it take to build the mazes of doom? Not too long. Not too long at all. Every level's randomised thanks to a filter using MC Edit. Um, you can set. You can thank uh, Seth Bling for that filter there. And then we just sort of piled them on top of each other and made some modifications. So I would say about a day of mucking around and building it. And for the for people on YouTube that don't know what I'm talking about, we uh, put together a hundred by hundred by hundred. So a cube maze, 3D maze of Doom and placed it on the server for, for fans to get lost in. Now the problem is we thought, you know, maybe one or two levels of this maze would be enough because a hundred by a hundred is a big maze. That is, that ain't no small maze. Now adding 25 levels to make it a hundred by a hundred by a hundred, that is extreme right there. Problem is, we thought maybe no one will ever touch it. Now we've already had seven people complete the bloomin' thing. I'm not kidding. It, for some reason, the fans got attracted to this giant maze of doom. It takes like 17 hours to complete this maze of doom. And I don't know what the, the attraction is with it, but the fans just eat that up. You coming off there? Come on. All right. There's a good bunch of spawns. Get rid of it. But no head drop. No. Okay, we'll just continue this out. But yeah, the, the the Maze of Doom takes around 17 hours of getting lost. And it's got booby traps in it. We made sure that there was a few booby traps. Not death booby traps, just think of it like snakes and ladders. What we did, 100 by 100 by 100 maze, 3D maze of Doom, uh, has multiple levels. And in the mazes, they got buttons and stuff. And you can press the buttons to either give you an advantage, either take you down one or two levels, or it can actually reset your progress and put you back up one or two levels. So just think of it, if, if anyone here knows the, the game Snakes and Ladders, almost like that. Some of, the, some of the, the buttons are good, some of the buttons are bad. And if you press the wrong one, or you get the wrong one, you're in big trouble. You're either going to get something nasty happen to you, Something nasty is going to happen to you, or you're going to reset your progress, or there's just lots of things. I don't know. As I was saying, for some reason, this 3D maze of doom on the the day my my survival server, it just attracted so many fans to it. We have fans running around in it, and don't get me wrong, we put loot and everything else at the end of it. You know, we put like uh, I ain't going to spoil it. There's a lot of loot at the end. There's a half a double chest full of good stuff <laughs> at the end of it. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely attracted a lot of people. I just can't believe somebody spent 17 straight hours doing the Maze of Doom. <laughs> I really didn't. So, yeah, I think eventually if fans can keep completing this and it gets easier and easier, we might have, I might have to go back and make a bigger and bigger maze um, um, and more booby traps and more craziness, you know, maybe a water underwater level maze. and, and I don't know. I don't know. I like to play around like that. <laughs> Some people think... 
the yeah some people cannot ha hack the maze of doom really they can't and i i understand why it is really hardcore that 3d maze is it'll drive the drive anyone insane but not some people <laughs> definitely not some people um yeah <laughs> crikey all right take all this out blimmin gravel horrible stuff blimmin horrible stuff all right, maybe I should answer some questions from Twitch chat. Um, can we get the loot more than once? Uh, we haven't made... Uh, the, somebody's asking about the loot in 3D Maze. YT, actually. Um, asking about the loot in the maze. Oh, crikey. Um, if they can get the chest more than once. Because after if someone completes it, we take their picture, we put a sign on the wall saying, this guy completed 17 hours Maze of Doom, and, and they get all their loot. So, But we haven't, heard, we, don't, we haven't made any rules on doing it twice yet, but um, maybe, I don't know, all, people just running the maze multiple times will eventually have it mapped out in their head, and it will get too easy, and the, the loot will be just, yeah. So, ouch! So I'm not sure about that yet. You'll have to stay tuned. We might make some sort of rule that you get half the loot, or, or maybe there's a pick a prize sort of thing for a second round. Uh, I don't know, but um, you've got to be careful giving out that much loot. You know, far out there um, to everybody that completes the maze. You know, might might make the ser server a little bit, uh, yeah, screw the economy up a little bit. That's what I'm worried about. Um, okay. Alright, so let me switch on to this text document of Doom, because I haven't answered enough questions of this text document Doom. This is from YouTube itself, um, where, you know, people that can't make the, st the stream can leave a question for me later on. If it, So I'll, yeah, leave a question if you're watching this from YouTube later on, and hi if you're watching this from YouTube later on. Uh, put a hi in the comments below, so then I know that you got up to this far in the, uh, the stream watching it on YouTube, because I know... About 2,000 people do watch the stream on YouTube, which is which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Okay, so let's switch. Let's go over to the next question there. Um, okay, so somebody said, "Hey, Data, why don't you put a slime block elevator in one of the legs of my gold farm?" Yes, I do actually plan to do that. Eventually, we will have a we'll, we'll have we'll install a, a, the elevator in the slime block as well because it's a pain in the backside climbing up that high in the gold farm it really is that gold farm is is pretty boss uh, trust me when it comes to an upcoming episode you'll see it it's pretty it's pretty boss um, I absolutely love that gold farm it's producing enough gold to last me a lifetime which is fantastic. No, no skull bugger. We'll go get these two guys over here. But yes, I do plan on filling. Holy smokes, where are you coming from? Where is it? Where is it? Seriously? Whatever. Oh yes, I got another one. I'm gonna go put that away immediately, just in case I die. Holy smokes, I've got four at home. Now I've got two here. I'm gonna have a metric butt ton of skulls in no time. Holy smokes, that's cool. All right, let's go drop this off into the chest so we don't, you know, lose it for, from dying or anything else. So what we'll do is just run back, kill these guys off. Ah, um, oh, we won't, we won't, won't, won't waste the arrows. I'm thinking about shooting them, but I was like, yeah, we're not, we don't have all that many arrows here. Um, okay, second with a skull, skull farm going into the chest there. Fantastic. Okay, so. Get rid of this guy. He's gonna shoot me. Gotcha. And we'll get. We'll, oh, he fell off. Haha. <laughs> we'll go kill this guy here just in case he drops another one. No, he didn't. Bugger. That would have been absolutely nice, but does not matter. Okay, let's go back over to where we were and I'll answer some more questions. Let me switch over to the stream chat, make sure I'm not missing any craziness over there. Um, somebody says, Hey, Data, if you were asked to join Hermy. Something craft or another um, SMP YouTube type server? Would you accept the invite? It depends how big it is, mate. That's that's probably the truth on that. To go out of my way to build, it have to be a large, uh, yeah, yeah, some uh, full of large other Minecraft YouTube is pretty much to be worth worth it because I've got a lot of offers from from quite a lot of small people, but yeah, I, I like doing the MDU and the DNR and and these live streams and I, I don't know I, I'm more of a solo guy but is if the community is large enough and they request it I will definitely probably check it out 
Um, okay, so, crikey. <laughs> this is, there's a lot of work ahead of us. We should, we, should, we should get this section over and done with first, I think. We'll take out the gravel here, or the floating gravel of doom. There we go. Alright, let me switch over to the text documents. Um, I made the block place it's in bake. I, I don't understand that question at all, mate. Alright, let me switch over to the text document of Doom here. Uh, scroll down a couple. Um, there we go. Alright, scroll down a couple. There we go. Alright, so the next question from YouTube is... Uh, Data, you should do a studio gaming tour and review of some of your... Some uh, I can't say that giant word there that you recommend other YouTube. I think that says equipment. I'm going to take a guess and say that says equipment there. So um, I started like the equipment I use right now. Yeah, it's 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 a lot more better than the the equipment I had when I first started on YouTube. Like, don't get me wrong, far out. Uh, I think I had a two dollar Chinese microphone when I started the very, the original series of um, Build Big or Go Home. I think the first 50 episodes were shot with a $2 microphone. Um, and as I sort of got bigger and bigger and bigger and got some spare money, I sort of started going up. I went to the uh, Blue Snowball uh, microphone after that. That was the second microphone I owned. That was a little bit more dear, I think around 150 bucks. Uh, no, not 150 bucks. 50, about 50, 60 bucks for the snowball in Australia. In America, there might be 50, 60 bucks. Not here in Australia. Um, and then I went. I after that, I sort of get started getting donations on my site and had this donator rank, and that sort of started paying for more equipment. You know, more better equipment, better hard drives, uh, better equipment. So you know, the donate the, the donators on the website helped pay for a lot of things. And I went up from there. I went to the the Blue Yeti. That was the 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 next microphone I sort of went up to. And the Blue Yeti is absolutely fantastic. I'm using it right now in this stream. It might be a little bit loud and detect a lot of things, but I absolutely love this microphone. It's the best microphone I've ever owned. Now it is a little dear in Australia. I think it's $189 in Australia to own the the Blue Yeti microphone, um, and higher. And in America, I'm, it's way cheaper. Whoa! No! 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 Crikey. So, yeah, it is, is a little deep, and I had to buy, I ended up buying a robe, uh, robe boom arm to go along with it to hold it up in the air, um, so, because the Yeti is quite large, and if you put it in front of you, it will take up a lot of your screen time, so it's not all that good, so robe arm was necessary, then a pop filter after that, and yeah, so that's uh, some of the recording equipment I use, well, sound equipment, recording, I use fraps, um, I've, crikey, there it goes. I always use fraps. Don't worry, these some of these these half dead um, these half dead picks are actually not repairable. I've repaired them so many times they're too expensive and not worth it. So that's just a heads up for everyone. It's like, oh my god, Dana, you just broke an efficiency five pick. What was what is wrong with you, sort of thing? So just yeah, chill out. Don't worry. I've um, yeah been repairing the picks. Just some of these are definitely way 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 out there for being repaired. Like thirty something levels plus, or so it's too expensive. So relax, relax. I'm not planning on repairing any of these uh, already repaired many time picks. But yeah, when it comes to uh, recording YouTube, you always start somewhere. But you've got to always remember it's it's the content that you make. You can you can be a rich kid and buy all this equipment right off the bat, you know. Um, I couldn't do that, I'm not rich. Um, but it's all about your content at the end of the day, you know. You've got to you've got to be a little bit unique and put your own spin on things. Yeah, you might be using another YouTuber's design, but as long as you put your own twist or spin on it, that's very interesting. You'll be right when it comes to YouTube and Minecraft, but far out, you have to be dedicated. Does it suck? It, it's, a, it's a time sink. Uh, wow, it will just suck up most of your time doing YouTube, like like me. Um, all my spare time, 100% of my spare time is YouTube um, right now. Yeah, it, it really is. Let me switch over and make sure I'm not uh, missing anything from here. But uh, yeah, um, start, always start somewhere. I started with a $2 microphone. Now I've got a $180 microphone, boom arm, pop filter, the whole nine yards. Um, decent rig. Uh, it's really hard drive space. I like to archive my, all my stuff 
all my stuff uh, crikey we're full all my stuff is archived on my drive just in case something goes wrong um, which we I've had many times I know some of you guys don't realize what when it does go wrong but when people are like data data there's a there's an audio glitch that screwed up five minutes in the thing you know quickly take it off YouTube you know re-upload it that's the best thing about archiving most of your stuff I keep all the raw fraps files which is uncompressed video very large stuff I know some youtubers don't but some youtubers do I do I like to keep it all uncompressed ready to go um, to yeah so I can just load up uh, Sony Vegas load the the um, thing and fix and re-render that if that's necessary but yeah very very uh, a lot of space. Uh, you need a lot of lot of space uh, to do to do that. Um, yeah, in the beginning, I never ever archived anything, but I started learning my lesson when uh, when some renders. Because I don't like to watch my own stuff. Uh, I don't know if anyone out there watches the, when they record their stuff. They watch an entire episode. I don't usually watch an entire episode because I I did the episode. I what I sit there and I record the whole thing. But I don't like to, uh, you know, go re-watch that 30-minute episode of me doing that thing. I normally just watch the first five minutes, make sure it's okay. But then when I put it on the internet and everybody watches it, they're just like, Dana, Dana, there's something wrong. Yeah, I learned very, very quickly to archive or keep backup so I can re-upload from the raw, raw file right away if something went wrong. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Definitely hard drive space when doing YouTube. Very. Holy crikey. Well, at least it's nice. You know what the best thing about being up this high is? Is it's bloomin' peaceful and quiet. <laughs> Alright, we won't we won't push that any anymore. We'll start taking off some of these guys here. I know we're we're on the edge and we've gotta keep an eye out so we don't get blasted. We'll slowly grind out all this here. So let's jump down here and be careful. And we should be able to take off right down here. Thank God for instant mine in here in the nether. It's fantastic. Um, all right. Uh, why do you think that Mojang set to repair Max at such a low level? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. All I know is that the new enchanting system is a little OP. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me. Yeah, it's easy as, but back in the day, it just felt like when you get a fortune pickaxe, it really for felt like a fortune pickaxe. It was very difficult to get. And once you got further and further into the game, yeah, it was easier and easier to get because you got more, you were doing more and more stuff. The problem is now, oh, you know, you only spend three levels to enchant something. It feels too easy. No offense to anyone else, but that's, that's, my, that's my personal opinion there. It's just... Yeah, Minecraft easy mode when it comes to enchanting now. I don't know why they've, you know, gone ahead and done that decision. But, um, you know, maybe they should have kept the level 30 enchants, you know, level 30, you know, 30 levels to enchant it. But maybe they should have made it dirt cheap to repair or dirt cheap to combine two pickaxes or something a little different. Not to say, hey, three levels. Oh, crikey. All right, we should just keep going this way before we go keep going down. This is going to take a while to do, guys. It will take a while to dig all this out. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, so... Okay. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and read another question from this text document of Doom. Okay, so somebody says, Data, have you ever thought about doing an Enderman farm in the end? Yes. Yes, I have. Many times. I've answered this question a bunch of times, but I'll answer it again, because, I don't know, people don't really seem to get it, but uh, um, I like to do go to the end when it's, you know, starting to feel like it's the end of my map, and, um, you know, yeah, I could build an end farm, an Enderman farm out there, and do all that good stuff, um, eventually, eventually, but... Yeah, because everybody's sort of like, even level, when, when like episode 10 dropped, everyone's like, go to the end, kill the ender dragon right now. It's just like, why would you want to rush? Whoa, again. Why do you want to rush that quick, you know? Once I build this Bob Farm, Mob, mob Bob Farm, Bob Farm of Doom, whatever you want to call it, once we get enough, get all the farms built, you know, the trading hall done and all that good stuff to to do that Bob Farmer Doom, I guarantee it will be pumping out so much ender pearls, you won't want to go to the end and build an end farm right away, because there'll be no need. An end farm is good for, you know, 
getting ender pearls. That's pretty much all. Well, you know, you build XP farms. I've seen many XP farms out of it, but I don't know. I like my, I like, I love my Blaze Farm XP farm. It does a great job. I usually go make a cup of coffee. I hear the alarm going off. I come back. It's turned itself off. I kill them all, and Bob's your uncle, and yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Let me switch over back over to the actual live stream chat here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I wish I could watch further, but I must sleep. Night, mate, you have a good one, you have a good one. Must be late where he lives, must be late. Um, hey, Data, my first live stream, uh, stream watching live. Well, welcome, welcome to the stream, it's fantastic. It's a little bit uh, weird time, I don't normally stream in the middle of the day, well, it's not the middle of the day anymore, but uh, I don't normally stream in the middle of the day when it comes to uh, streaming. I like to stream early in the morning, it's to avoid the heat and it usually falls on good times when it comes to American times and Australian times and all that stuff so yeah but uh, I don't know I have a free I had a free day today and didn't have any plans for people to drop around so I thought why not jump into a stream and do a little bit of work on this uh, this farm we'll be doing bits and pieces of work when it comes to this clearing this out um, bits and pieces for I don't know I can't put an ETA on when this is gonna be done but yeah, we'll be swapping back and forth between mining live streams and clearing out this farm. So yeah, okay, good stuff. Uh, how long is the stream go gonna go for? Um, I think I'm gonna stream for oh, I don't know about another 20 minutes or so. We've been streaming for over an hour already, so you know I've got to be careful of that new Twitch timer BS where you can't stream over two hours or or else it doesn't save your archive your videos. Which kind of sucks. It really does suck because back in the day, you know, those crazy 16 hour live streams I used to do for building farms and stuff? Yeah. I would have to literally. Holy smokes. I would literally have to stop the stream every blimmin' two hours just to refresh it. Bit of a pain in the backside. Let me get a drink here. <sighs> oh, that's better. But yeah, you know, I'd literally have to refresh, refresh the live stream every two hours. Pain in the bum, if you ask me. But yeah, this will definitely, hopefully, be on YouTube later on. If Hopefully that air conditioner in the background is not too noisy for everybody. Because, uh, well, it's noisy for me right now. Um, maybe you can just stop and start streaming. Yes, oh, we just uh, said that. Uh, Bob Farmer Doom, good stuff the enchantment but I hate the anvil mechanics okay good interesting interesting but uh, yeah yeah so this will be definitely a slow project finishing off this but we will get there eventually we will definitely get there eventually building this farm hopefully in a few months time where we're starting to see a big square and holy smokes a big square takes shape in this area and and then on the main MDU series we can build, start marking out the box frames that go around these uh, intersections here and we can start worrying about uh, um, we can start worrying about how it's all going to work on that we do we do all that on the in the actual episode yikes do all that on the episodes themselves but uh, we can dig all this out in the uh, we can di definitely dig all the crikey we can dig all this out definitely in live streams, which is good, fantastic. All right, let me kill these two guys before we disappear. All right, come here. Where are you going? He, he must be scared of the almighty Daedalus. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, come on, guys. Usually when I'm not looking for them, the, the, the wither skeletons drop the skulls all the blooming time. All right, let's go over and empty the inventory and grab a new pick. Cause crikey, uh, there's one over there too we can take care of. It's actually starting to come together. See, we've already taken out a huge chunk, which is absolutely fantastic. There we go. Okay, let's get this guy here. Bugger, 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 bugger. That's okay. All right, let's go grab another pick, and I think I'll read another question out from. Um, the the stream the text document of doom if you have any questions ouch crikey if you have any questions feel free to post them in the chat all right nope nope just don't hit the pigmen by mistake that would be a blooming disaster all right up 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 bum just throw all this stuff in random chests for now 
That is fine. Keep all the... Oh, I can't believe we, we don't have too many of those uh, arrows left. Whoa, crikey. Oh, crikey. Blimey, give me a heart attack. Alright, so... It's this one next. Yes, it's this one. That one... I've repaired that one recently, and that one's pretty much dud. Uh, it's, the last, it's the last repair ever. Alright, let's go out here, take care of these guys. Start using your sword data. Gotcha. There we go. I'm not going to even bother with you. <laughs> I ain't jumping off that to get you. Holy smokes. Alright. Do I... Yeah, there's a couple of... Uh... Yeah, there's a couple down here. We'll, we'll, we'll go grab these guys. Start to come... It's starting to come together as a... As a wither skelly hunt, hunting ground, so, which is good. Dead. Dead. And no skulls. Yikes! Whoa. Crikey, you're going down. Gotcha. Alright, let's go back over there and get up there and start clearing off this ledge. Seriously? Gotcha. As, as we start taking more and more of the environment out, we're going to have more and more stuff spawning on the fortress itself, by the way. It's definitely... Oh, crikey. I guess we're going to have to get some uh, blocks back here so we can climb up there. Got to be careful. Uh, no, no, I thought there was a big drop there, but there's not... Out of the way, piggy. I always click by mistake, and then it turns out to be a blooming disaster. All right, let's go ahead and jump up. Um, right here. Well, crikey, get out of the way. Fantastic. So, all right, out we go. Where are we up to? Oh, crikey, this is still heaps thick. Oh, that ain't doing too bad. All right, where were we? Um, oh. We're over there. Okay. All good. All good. All right. So I should should look at. Uh, uh, okay. So we've got some new people joining us in Twitch chat right now. Um, they don't quite know what's actually going on. Is this lava? Yes, there is lava. I was like, oh, did that get bright all of a sudden? So we've got some new people joining us in the live stream. And yes, I did find at the beginning of the stream, I did actually say that um, in an upcoming episode in the actual datathon, because uh, that most of the datathon's actually been shot now. And uh, the datathon will start next week, and uh, that's pretty much next weekend. There's going to be an after next weekend. There'll be an episode every single day for two weeks or 14 days. So that's 14 episodes in a row. That's what I've been working so hard on. That's why I haven't been live streaming much because I've literally been shooting episodes, doing projects. Yeah, metric butt ton of work. Trust me. Some of the episodes I'm I'm really tired. Some of them are not. And oh crikey, but. Uh, yeah, there's the data marathon coming up, and in that half, well, not even halfway through the data marathon, I found the, the the a new fortress, and I said in that in the in in that episode, I'm like, oh, we're going to come in live streams, and we're going to start working on it, clearing out, making you know, all clearing all this out, and turning it into these cross sections into an actual with a skelly farm, and and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, so that's so that's what's going on here. Um, in so after next week, you guys will catch up real quickly. Trust me, that datathon after two weeks, you guys watching fourteen episodes, you'll be up to where I'm up to. Holy smokes! So you know, be prepared for that. I don't know if you guys will be able to even keep up. Two weeks of content, that's a that's a lot. Um, yeah, next next month is going to be the biggest month I've ever done when it comes to YouTube content. So hopefully everybody. I really likes it. I'm kind of nervous because I, I was tired in some of them and I did apologize for being tired. When you push yourself so hard to get projects done or get the content done, yeah, eventually it catches up with you. It does definitely catch up with you. So, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, did discover a new fortress in the upcoming datathon. So just, just remember next weekend onwards. Uh, yeah. Okay, and it looks like that means I'm going to have to post the datathon, hopefully sometime during the week, in the donator section. I do have a little program um, on my website that helps support me, pay the bills, pay the server bills, and all that good stuff. I do actually own five servers, or a big dedicated server in Sydney, for the fans. I do tip some of the money back into, you know, uh, keeping the website up, and, and paying for the server, and servers, and uh, all, yeah, all the bandwidth, and all that good stuff, but... Uh, yeah, uh, if you wish to donate, I'll, I'll get a mod to leave a uh, link in the description, but if you donate more than uh, $10 and upwards, it'll give you a special rank on my website called the Donator Rank. That will allow you access to the Donator section. This Donator section actually has 
um, you know, special uh, early content, uh, access to early content. So that's that's all. Everything that goes into the donate section pretty much ends up on YouTube, but the the, the donators get to see everything first. It's it's a privilege. It's a perk, and I've had it forever. I really have had that forever. So right now we've got the next couple of episodes for MDU in the the donate section. Also, I do sort of a a backstage vlog there. You know, sort of a personal backstage vlog. Um, so, you know, so the, the donators know exactly what's going on. I talk about a lot of personal stuff. It's more of a, yeah, stuff you'll never see on YouTube sort of stuff. But, um, that's also in the, in the, the donator section. Also some hidden content and all sorts of good stuff is in the back, back, uh, the donator section. Also Datacraft. If you're interested in, uh, seeing earlier versions of Datacraft or, you know, an early version of Datacraft, Dev Build 9 is up there right now. That includes most of the armor. I'm still working on the diamond armor at this time, so Dev Build 10 will end up in the donators section for testing, which is fantastic. And Datacraft will be hopefully out at full release at Christmas time. Yes! Including armor. Finally! Yes! So, yeah, if you're interested in getting on your hands on that sort of stuff earlier than everyone else, the, the donator rank might be for you. So I'm, I'll put a link in the description right now. If you do want to support me, you don't have to. Everything ends up on YouTube, so don't worry, don't stress. The only things that don't end, end up on YouTube is the personal vlogs that I do for the the back uh, for for the donators. So don't stress. Everything does end up on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll leave a link in the description if 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 the donator rank interests you at all. Um, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And a mod, please post it in the live stream chat right now. But, uh, yeah, hopefully Datacraft will be out at Christmas time with all the armor attached. Holy smokes, I really hope so. Um, diamond armor's coming along nicely. Oh, I really want to show you the diamond armor, but I can't give spoilers out. I don't have the, 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 the Dev Build 10 going right now, or else you'd be able to see the headpiece, the chest, and the pants. I haven't done the diamond boots yet, but I, I thought about doing it. I'm like, mm, I could just put Dev Build 10 on, and people might notice me having gr really crazy armor on. But then I thought, nah, I better not do that. That's too big of a spoiler. Switch back. Switch back. <laughs> oh, crikey. But yeah. All right. Maybe I should move on to some questions. Some yabbering on. Um, yeah. Let me go switch over to this text document of Doom. See what else people have been asking. Okay, so we talked about, we did talk about the setup and, uh, you know, recommendations for other YouTubers and stuff like that. Now, we talked about that already. Um, somebody asked, Data, could, ha could I have a lock of your sexy beard? Okay. <laughs> no, nobody's taking a pair of scissors near my beard, trust me, mate. Holy smokes. Um, crikey. That's probably the randomest questions I've ever read. Holy smokes. Okay, so let's move on straight on to the next question. Oh, crikey. Let's move on to the next question. Um, talk about... Um, I know, I, I, oh, here we go. Here's a question. What do you want to do on your Christmas vacation? So, as you guys know, I'm working very, very hard to p p provide a crazy month month next month in content. Datathon, four episodes a weekend, and up till the first of next year. Yeah, I'll be, work be working my backside off. So, um, you know, I plan on taking a vacation after Christmas, and um, hopefully I'm going to, you know, go play some other games and just relax for a little while. I need a reset, and I do take a reset, because this is actually meant to be a hobby, but it's turned into a blimmin' full-time, almost a full-time job, so, you know, far out. Oops, sorry, it should go up here. But it's, yeah, it's almost turned into a full-time blooming job with the amount of work I'm tipping into this. This whole YouTube, data craft servers. <laughs> Craggy. So I am taking a vacation and I am... I'm going to just relax. I'm going to play other games and talk to my friends and actually go outside and burn in the sunlight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's what I plan on doing on my vacation. I think it will upset people because, you know, um, I've... Uh, the first will come, and then I'll I'll make a vlog or an announcement in the main series, telling everybody that I'm going on vacation, and I'm not sure when the next episode is going to be up, and everybody's going to be like, no data, no, I need my data fix. <laughs> Crocky. Oh, oh, we're nearly down there. That's that's, that's good. It's going good. We're not doing too bad. I should have just kept going up there. That doesn't matter. I just wanted to get this giant pillar sort of dug out and out of the way. Um, yeah, alright, let's, uh, 
let's move on to the next question here. Um, how is Furball doing these days? She's doing well. She's actually hot. Very, it's very hot. Actually, let's hang on a second. Let me see if we can bring it. It's, it's hot in Australia right now, and she's she's a she's a ball of fur, and she's hot. Let me bring this up. I don't know if you can see this guy, guys. Hang on a sec. I just got to muck around with OBS here and see if I can get this picture up here on the screen. Hopefully, this will come to you now. Boom. There you go. That's how Furball's doing. She is just very, very hot. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but that there is my cat Furball. She loves cuddles in winter, but in summer, stay away. She's hot, and she will find a cool place to spread out and relax. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys could see that. I'll switch back over now just in case you guys didn't see that. There we go. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. This one. Oh, gotcha. Fantastic. But yeah, no, that's that's furball and uh yeah, in hot weather she will just find a cool spot to to la to yeah, lounge out. <laughs> Um, okay, good stuff. Yeah, apparently it's come up, it's came up on people's screen. Fantastic. Uh, good, I was a little worried. I took that, uh, I, I took it yesterday or the day before when it was warm and, and she was hot and I, like, seen her and I took the picture. I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll show the fans that next time I'm on a stream. And, yeah, I set that up, but I'm like, I don't know if I deleted the picture or not and if it would come up for you guys and holy smokes. But, yeah, there you go. That's what Furball's doing. Staying cool. <laughs> Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so hopefully we can get all this dug out. Oh, back to that, back to the question. So somebody asked how Furball was going. There, yeah, she's going very, very well. She's hot, but she's going well. Um, okay, so... Uh, what's your vegetable garden got planted in? Mm, that's not a bad question there. I've got silver beets, cucumbers, tomatoes, watermelon, rock melon. I did have a little bit of a disaster this year. Um, we had a late frost, which was... It, it sort of hit my garden very hard when it came to a late... I did have a late frost, and it, it, it hit my garden very hard, and I lost a lot of plants, which was disappointing. Normally, I like to... Um, oh, I'm not going to go that low. Holy smokes. Um, normally I don't like to, to get Bunnings plants too much, you know, some people like to pick up Bunnings. I like to grow my own from, from seeds, um, which is fantastic, you know, save the seeds from the year before and continue on to doing that. But uh, this year we had a disaster, we had a late frost, a very late frost, and it killed a lot, like it made them all shrivel up. So it was a blooming disaster for me. I was not happy. I did have to purchase plants from Bunnings and spend a bunch of money. I was not blooming happy. But I was not going to miss out on the year. So I love to have fresh tomatoes. Who here loves cheese and, tom cheese and tomato melted toast? Oh, under the grill. You know, you use some coon cheese. Just big thick slices and it bubbles away. Under oh, sorry. <laughs> Yummy. But, um, yeah, we lost a lot of plants this year, and I, my, I screwed my camera up as well. I normally like to document my, you know, how the garden's going and all that good stuff, but I, uh, my camera, my good recording camera, um, yeah, just say some, I'm going to blame Bones. Bones, he left it, one of my moderators, he left it in the greenhouse, and, uh, and, and the water system, the watering system came on, you see, and, uh, it got very wet and it doesn't turn on anymore and <laughs> he's gonna kill me for that one <laughs> hashtag bones did it uh, but yeah oh crikey here we go ha ah, come on let's do this oh nearly I like to shoot those back at him uh oh whoa direct hit direct hit Whoa, crikey. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue then. Alright, so yeah, I like to normally document, as I said, but my camera's failed. And hopefully if, if the donations go well on, in, on next month, I might purchase a new camera. Uh, we'll see. Cameras are not cheap, sadly. Well, the good ones are not cheap anyway. Um, the good quality ones, so... Yeah, I might purchase one. Depends how the donations do well. Yeah, if they do any well next month, I'll, I'll think about buying a new one. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> so everyone's like, poor boots. 
on my servers I've got an announce announcer and I put hashtag bones did it and he wasn't too impressed. Oh crack. He's probably watching this or he's asleep, I'm not sure. Oh man, he's gonna kill me when he watches this live stream tomorrow. <laughs> Tell you that for a fact. Oh, we're nearly there. This is bit getting difficult now. Carving the rest of this platform up. Just trying to get this platform out. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we should move on to the next one. The garden's going well. I've got lots of vegetables. I love, oh, just love fresh tomatoes straight out of the garden. Plus silver beets. And, oh, it, there's nothing like just picking it right out and just cooking with it. Using it in, in, in everything. It's fantastic. Uh, if any garden gardeners are out there and love to garden, just, uh, Put a comment below if you're watching this on YouTube later on. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. I know it's sort of, yeah. I know I've got a lot of kids and a lot of kids, you know, watching me Minecraft. And not many people probably don't like to garden all that much. <laughs> it's another side hobby, all right? I love gardening. All right. Let, let me, uh, let me uh, go. Hang on a sec. Let me go over to the, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. All right. Okay, all right, next question. So, a user named the Hamfish asks, why does it rain so much on your server? How the bl I'm not the weather man. Uh, it rains a lot because you play too much on the server. <laughs> uh, any YouTuber hates when it rains in Minecraft. Well, I hate when it rains in Minecraft, so you're not the only one. But, uh, Rain in Minecraft was awesome when it was first introduced. It was like the new a new thing, and everybody was like, "Wow, no way! This rain is awesome." Now it's no way. I go sleep in a bed before shooting an episode. Don't want that rain in the episode. It ruins it. It's got to turn off environmental uh, uh, noises so you don't hear booms and bangs and shh in the middle of a freaking episode. Pain in the bum. But uh, why does it rain all the time? You have to ask Mojang that. Ask, tell him why does it uh, always rain? Because I, I don't have an answer for that question. <laughs> oh, crikey. We're almost done here. Um, which is your favourite world? Original build or build big uh, or MDU? So, actually a bunch of my subscribers won't know what the original one was. I did have an original world that I started, and to be honest, that's probably the most time I've ever tipped into a world, is my original world, back when Minecraft was in alpha, beta, I forgot, early, 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 where you could have pig farms, you just had to make a grass patch, and pigs used to spawn everywhere, and <laughs> yeah, that early. There was no such thing as pistons and, and all that crazy stuff, but... Uh, uh, yeah, that my original. We'll just call it the original. There wasn't a title for that, but that's where I started YouTube. I started posting my crazy farms on YouTube, and people liked them, and I sort of went from there. But uh, unfortunately, bad things happened to me, and and people thought I quit, and I didn't really quit, and uh, it was it was blooming horrible. I won't get too much into that. No, what did I? Did I? Can I? Can I make it? Can I make it? All right, we're gonna eat some chicken first. Can we, can we bloom and make this? Alright, here we go. Oh, got it. There. Ha ha. There we go. We've, we've cut out a nice, decent chunk of this today. I'm, I'm quite impressed on how much work we got. We flattened most of the fortress off. We got two skulls. So, which is... I've already got four at home. I'm not kidding you. I've got four in the series already. I, I'm not going to tell you how many beacons I've already got. That's, that's for you guys to catch up when the datathon starts next week. Um, yeah, as I said, you guys will definitely catch up next week. You will definitely catch up once that datathon's done. We're going to drop an episode every single day until it's all, all caught up, which is, whoa, going to be fantastic. Just remember, if you want access to some of this stuff earlier than everyone else, Donate Rank might be for you, and you'll be helping to support me and pay the bills, and oh my god, what the blooming hell! How many is underneath us? That just sound like a blooming disaster. Crikey! Do you guys hear that? There's a bunch of wither skeletons there too. Come on guys, get up here. Come on! Whoa! 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 Alright, let's take care of these. Gotcha. What? Ouch! Get off me! Alright, that's it. Come on, get up here! What? Seriously? This is a bad time! Come back later! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, where are you? Where did she go? 
Holy smokes, this is a blooming disaster. Alright, come on you. Up you come. Yeah, come on. Oh, pfft, just fall right off, why don't you? Fine. I'm going to continue this and hopefully not get shot off. I want all this gone. We are so close to finishing this off, it's not even funny now. There we go. Alright, fantastic. Good stuff. Okay. Take care of this. <laughs> I'm going to watch my back. There's something bad's going to happen. Hello, piggy. Don't hit the piggy. What? No. Crikey. You serious? Ouch. Holy smokes. Where did you guys come from? No, no, no. Jeez, there's heaps of them. No. Gotcha. Ah, all right, that's taken care of. Holy smokes. That's a lot of bad guys. All right. Take out this final bit. And then we got a hot wall. Okay, there's a glitch block right here. Gotcha. And then we have got it. Just that little section to go. Down we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I nearly clicked. I nearly clicked. That would have been a blooming disaster. That would have been a blooming disaster. All right, up we go. Okay. Aha. I bet everybody's like, fried data, fried data, no fried data. There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Hold shift, go backwards, and Bob's your uncle. Really? I turn around for a blooming second, and you guys are already killing stuff. Where are you? Gotcha. Oh, uh oh, I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. Let's get out of here. This is this is it's just so many starting to spawn up here. It's getting blooming ridiculous. No, just run for it. Don't look behind. Go, 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 go. Woo! Oh, crikey. Move out of the way. And I'm going to be safe. Haha. -ha. Maybe I need to make a safe room over here because this is not really safe. <laughs> not really safe at all. There we go. Haha. -ha. Now I'm getting safer. There. Ah, done. Seal this up as well. It's going to be my little safe room. Shouldn't be making out a blooming nether rack, but oh well. Alright, throw all that in. Throw this in, this in, this in, this in. This in. Alright. Okay, guys, we're going to call the live stream now. I think we've done a metric butt ton of work. Look, we took away the whole section. If we could just take out that whole section later on. Yeah, we'll do that in another live stream. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's, uh, not mining live stream, but this, I don't know what you, I haven't named these streams yet, but uh, uh, the stream of clearing out the fortress. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I've answered a bunch of your questions, and uh, uh, yeah, all the um, all the links for everything we talked about will be in the description. If you want to donate and become a donator, you can do that. You don't have to. If you want to apply for the server and come join the community on the server, it will be in the description below, so you can come in and apply for the server. And you, if you apply for the server, you have access to all my servers. So don't worry. If you want to play an app, you can play an app. If you want to play on normal hard. There's there's servers for pretty much everything. So. Which is absolutely fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Oh, good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, yeah turning up today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this stream. I know it was a little bit boring, but there was really nothing we could have yeah done. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming, guys. And uh, yeah, no deaths tonight, sadly. And I'll catch you all later.